Who's excited for the fall haul? Hey fam, I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. For the fall haul, I went ahead and started shopping probably a couple of months ago, getting ready for fall time. I wanted to make sure that I was kind of ahead of the game and getting different things. I have clothing, I have soap, I have shoes, I have home decor. I even have music and book recommendations as well for the fall time, all of the things. So let's just go ahead and get started. We'll try to do it by category so that way it keeps everything organized. I will have everything linked down below by category so that way it's a little bit easier for you guys if you guys are interested in checking out any of the things in the video. Let's start off with clothing first. I have a bunch of clothing items and shoes. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff I actually picked up during the Nordstrom sale. So it's been a couple of months, like I mentioned. First off, I'm gonna show you guys these shoes. These are the Chelsea boots from Nordstrom. I believe that they are the Nordstrom, yeah, they're the Nordstrom specific brand. And these are so cute and I think perfect for fall. I believe that they are waterproof. This version does have a little elastic band, I guess, to help kind of keep it a little bit um, looser and then it has a zip right here and then the inside has a nice little like velvet interior to keep your feet nice and warm. An Instagram influencer actually was the one who recommended these. She said that they are perfect for fall time and where I live in Utah it definitely does get cold and dry and you don't want to be walking around in any sort of sandals or slides or anything like that. So during the fall time this will be totally perfect for um, all the outfits, it's black as well, so it's very neutral. I feel like it would go with anything, and I think that they are super cute. And I did get them on sale. I'm not sure how much they are now, but they are a great staple piece, I feel like, to a wardrobe because they do go with so much, and they can work for the fall and the winter. So this next top is actually from Walmart, if you would believe it, and it's actually from the little girls section, so I know this probably won't work for everyone. I'm 5'4", I usually wear a size small or extra small in shirts when I get them in general like regular stores and so this is a um wonder nation xxl in the size 18 t-shirt but it is in this beautiful orange color and it's just this cute little basic tee slash top i've worn this with many different outfits i'll try to post some pictures here you can wear this with like white pants like i have or even black jeans or just regular denim i feel like it's just a super cute basic top and a cute fall color that is going to be perfect for obviously the fall. Another basic top I picked up from Hollister. I actually think I showed this one in a previous video, but this is just a basic um, cream long sleeve shirt. It is a little, I would say it's not cropped, but it definitely will hit you right at the perfect spot on your waist. And I think again, it's just perfect for the fall time. So I'm glad I picked that up because I knew that I would be getting a lot of use out of this. The next couple of items are all from the super cute store called the Pink Desert. I have been shopping at them for years and I absolutely love all of their pieces. They have new releases every single week and they've been releasing a lot of fall stuff recently, which I have been loving. And so this first thing that I picked up from them is this adorable blue top. It's kind of like a peplum style in the sense of it has like this dropped waist right here. It's got some cute little poofy-er-ish sleeves, but it's just so cute. It looks like a denim material, but it doesn't feel like denim if that makes sense. So it's not gonna keep you too overly hot if you are living in a warmer climate. I actually did wear this the other day. It was like 85, 90 degrees outside and I feel like it did me very well. I didn't get too hot in it, but it is just so cute. And you can pair it again with lots of different types of bottoms. So you have a good variety of options here. So that is one of the cute things I got from their first fall edit. The next thing I picked up from their fall edit was this Hot Shot romper. If you guys know the Hot Shot onesie that um, Free People has been promoting for years and years and years, this is basically like a knockoff of it. I was a little hesitant to get it because it does have these like giant pockets in the front and then it has this like dropped kind of crotch area, but I ended up trying it on. I love it. I think it looks so cute. I think it's fun. It's a great thing for winter. It's kind of just like a fun little fall play suit. So I'm really excited just to kind of hang out in this. It's also super comfortable and I like have been wearing this nonstop since I got it basically. And then the next store we got things from was Shop Stevie. Now she has some of the cutest clothes and they all I feel like are super good for fall time. I feel like her aesthetic and vibe is very, very fall. I got this cute little flannel shirt from their shop. It is so soft and comfortable and I love the colors of this. I think it is just the perfect colors again for fall time and it can be something that you can kind of dress up or dress down. I feel like wearing this with even my cute little Boots would be really cute and wearing this to like a fire or just like driving to the canyon or on like a little fall hike would be super beneficial and I get a lot of use out of it, so. And then these pants, I don't know why I'm putting this in these in this video, but they are these little sweatpants, but they're kind of like cargo because they have the cargo um, pockets on them. 
they have this like ribbed knit detailing and then they have a cinch bottom on here i love being cozy especially in the fall time and so these are definitely gonna be the pants i am gonna be living in during the fall as well as the winter time just because i want to keep super cozy and comfortable and i can lounge around the house in them and finally from them i picked up this adorable dress now this i feel like is also kind of like a free people dupe in a sense it's this super cute dress it has the super cute smocked detailing on the top with the cute bow ties and, and then it has a tiered skirt going down with different colors i feel like this is a dress that you can wear in the spring as well because the colors are pretty neutral but i love the tones especially for the fall i think it is again just super adorable and for looking like a free people dupe i feel like you, you get a pretty good price with it and finally this is kind of a little bit of a random piece that i picked up but i have this jumpsuit that i got from a store called persona when i was in texas it's so cute it's perfect for the fall time for like workwear because it has these cute little puff sleeves and it also has like appropriate pants that look like work pants the fabric is super thick which i really love it's going to keep me nice and warm when i have to go into the office almost done i promise i got two shirts from down east they have the cutest outfits right now i think they're so fun but i got this shirt it's this cute little baseball tee it has the fun little sleeves on it i don't know if i would necessarily say it's a fall piece but i do think it is very um fun to have and i can pair it with a lot of different things so a good staple item to have in my wardrobe for the fall time and then i picked up this super adorable blouse it is so cute it has these cute little polka dots on it the back is the star of the show with these fun button details down the back of it the fabric is really fun i really do think this is such a cute top and when i saw it at the store just on like the hanger I was like, uh, it's cute, I'll try it on. But when I put it on, I was like, okay, I have to wear this with black pants and the black boots. I think it'd be so cute. And it totally is such a cute piece. So I'm really excited to wear this throughout the fall time. One more thing I have to show you. There's a company called Cozy Earth. You guys might or might not have heard of them. They specialize, I feel like, in more like bedding and like pajama material. They have super, super cozy bedding and bed sheets and pillowcases and they're so expensive but recently they had a warehouse sale in salt lake and so i went there and was able to pick up a couple of cute pieces that were greatly discounted so these black joggers are from cozy earth again they're probably close to i would probably say upwards of a hundred dollars maybe i'm exaggerating a little bit on these but they are such a comfortable beautiful material i think they're going to be so cozy for the fall time and since they are black i feel like there's um, pants that i could like wear out if i wanted to maybe not to like a fancy dinner or anything but i could run errands in these and nobody would question and they would be so cozy and so soft so i am super excited that i was able to grab these at the warehouse sale and then i also picked up a pajama set from them as well so i just got this super adorable just black pant pajama bottoms that are super cute again super cozy and super super soft and then i got this black pajama shirt to match again cozy and soft i think the buttons are super cute on it and i'm just really excited to be able to wear this to go to bed in the fall and winter time because it does get super cold here in utah and i think this will be super nice to snuggle up in that was a lot but we got through it we got through it i guess sticking kind of on the vibe of the clothing i'm going to talk about nail polish so this is a beautiful nail polish color that i have picked up actually from walmart it is the essie expressi quick dry nail color in the shade 70 cold brew crew i think it's such a beautiful brown shade perfect again for the fall time really reminds me of like thanksgiving kind of in a sense but i think it's super pretty because it is a neutral color so it kind of goes with a lot of different other warm tones that you see usually in the fall time i really like the quick dry one as well because i was able to use this with my at home like gel manicure kit that i have and i feel like it dries really quickly and then i can put the gel on it and get that dry quicker so that way it gets done in about the same amount of time it would take me to go to the nail salon so this is probably going to be my nail color of choice over the next couple of weeks and month or so as we are in the fall time i really do think it's super cute and then I also wanted to point out my lip gloss. I got this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. I think this is the perfect nude shade, especially for fall. It's like a little bit pinky for me, but I think it still just totally brings the whole look together and doesn't look super summery because it's not like a hot pink or a fuchsia or even a red, but it's just a really neutral color, which I feel like just kind of helps complement all the other neutral tones that you typically see during the fall time, but it's not too brown. It's not too pinky, at least for me. And it's only like five or $6, which is such a good deal. So again, the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Mandeline. I feel like this is a must have for fall. Okay, now we're cruising through. I'm excited to show you guys the next thing.
I absolutely love Bath & Body Works. I kind of have an unhealthy obsession with Bath & Body Works, to be completely honest. But when they have their candle cell, you have to get them because they're so cheap and you have to do it because otherwise it's like so expensive. So let's talk about these scents. The first one I picked up from their sale that they had a couple of weeks ago, it's where their, their candles are all like $10. So they're super, super cheap. This is the White Barn Pumpkin Spice Latte. It has the notes of pumpkin spice, fresh espresso and whipped cream. Ugh, it smells so good. I would say that this is a little bit more sweet of a scent. I think it smells really yummy, but it can get pretty strong, especially because it is pumpkin, pumpkin spice latte. So I would probably only like this for a couple of minutes, maybe like 15 to 20 minutes, and then your house is gonna be smelling so good afterwards. The other candle that I picked up was just your classic leaves. I absolutely love this scent so much. I try to make sure that I get one of these every single year because I do burn through the whole thing usually within the fall season. This one has notes of apple, cinnamon, and clove. This is what I think of when you think of like fall smells, like this is the smell. It just smells so, so, so good. And then this actually isn't something that I, that I purchased like recently. I actually got it as a gift and I think I actually technically got it last year, but we're gonna add it to this haul anyway. This is the Yankee Candle Autumn Wreath Candle. And this one also, when I think of fall, like this is a very classic fall scent for me. Mm, it's just so good. Anyway, so yummy, so yummy, so yummy. So I'm super excited to have these going in my house because it's gonna make my house smell so good. And along the lines of Bath & Body Works, whenever their soap goes on sale, I always stack up. So I have this whole thing full of soap and I usually will only stock up once a year and then I'm good for the entire year for my house. I share a bathroom with two other girls and my kind of job I feel like is that I buy the soap for the apartment. So that is why I have so much soap in here. I'm just gonna quickly go through these fall scents that I picked up. Of course I have leaves. This is again, essential fall scent for me, but I also have autumn foliage, which I think the packaging is not only super cute, but it smells super yummy as well. I have white pumpkin, sweater weather, warm vanilla sugar. I don't know if this is technically a fall scent, but I feel like it is anyway, because it is just warm vanilla sugar. What else can you say? And that is it for the soaps. All right, the final thing we have left in here is the home decor. So let's start getting through that. I got a couple things from World Market that I'm so excited to show you. First up is this, this is kind of a really weird purchase for me. I don't think I would usually purchase something like this, but I thought it was so cute. It's this little like spoon rest for your cooking utensils. You just place it on this instead of on your counter. So that way this can collect it and your counter doesn't get dirty. It's so cute. It's just so cute. And it was also only $4. So I think it's such a good deal for this cute little spoon rest. I can place it in my kitchen and it will just kind of add a little cute aesthetic vibe to the space. Is it necessary? No, but it will be cute. So I'm excited for that. One thing that I wanna start adding into my home for the fall this year is having like a lot of fall florals and cute vases around my home filled with really beautiful dried florals. So I picked up this cute vase from World Market. I was really unsure to be completely honest with you if I like this or not. It's something that I potentially could return still, but I do love the color of it. It's like this beautiful brown color um, that has this like, I love, I really do love like this fun little detailing that's like the air bubble detailing in this vase. And then I picked up this flower stem from them as well. I don't think I will put it in like this. I'm gonna try to make a cute arrangement, but when I saw it together, I just thought, Okay, like that looks like fall. And I picked up another vase from Target, I believe, that I feel like complements this one really nicely. So I'm excited to have this kind of on my counter in my kitchen or on my table in my kitchen. I think it'll just be a really nice piece to have with some beautiful uh, fall foliage. I also grabbed this crimson protea bouquet from World Market as well. I think it's super pretty and I can kind of take it apart and rearrange it with the other fall floral that I picked up. But yeah, I think it's beautiful. And fall floral, if you keep it, if it's dried and you keep it stored well, it actually can stay looking really nice for years. So I'm really happy that it was a grab of this because it was on sale today. And I think it will be something that I can kind of use for years in the future, hopefully to make beautiful fall bouquets for my kitchen. Got more dried floral from Hobby Lobby as well. It was all 40% off, so I just had to do it, you know? I picked up this, I don't know what it's called, Galaxy GYP. It kind of honestly looks like a weed that I probably could go pick on the side of the road. I then also grabbed these two. Um, I don't know if this is considered pompous grass or not, but I really love the color of this. And then I grabbed these as well, which is kind of, they kind of look like pine cones almost to be honest, but I really love the color of these as well as how they contrast together with the other, you know, things that I picked up. I feel like it will be just super pretty and add a fun little pop of color. And then I also grabbed these as well. I think they're really pretty and just add again, another nice detail and touch of dimension to all the dried floral. 
This is the vase I got from Target. It is from the Threshold line and it's just this beautiful ceramic vase. It's got this nice little texture to it so it doesn't look like it's just a plain white vase. It has some nice texture detailing on it. So I feel like together these can look nice. We can complement them together nicely. I'm really excited to hopefully put them um, out soon. I actually bought this one first and so that is why I'm a little concerned about this one but I feel like it, they will kind of complement each other. They're not going to be sitting right by each other at all either. They'll be in the same room but they're not going to be by each other so I think it will do well and because this one is a white color I feel like I could keep it out year round which would be really nice because it can then be a staple piece for my home all right and finally we have TJ Maxx first I got this super cute pumpkin it's like this kind of what would you call this knit material almost I actually just found this other pumpkin in the Hobby Lobby bag that I forgot to mention it's this beautiful wood pumpkin I like the wood together with the neutral colors I think again the neutral kind of color scheme is going to be my theme this year for the decorations in my home with adding in different kind of fun little touches of color but this one I thought was just super beautiful and for Hobby Lobby like honestly it feels super hefty it's wooden this one was $11.99 but again I got it on sale when they have their 40% off sale so just have to kind of make sure that you keep an eye out for that. They did have one that was like a darker color, I think, with a gold um, little stem. But I like the silver stem with a little bit of a lighter color. So that's just a personal preference for me. But I thought it was just adorable. And the final thing I got were these kitchen towels. These ones are actually, I think the, the tag is saying Ross. So I must have just put it in the TJ Maxx bag. But it's this super cute just set of hand towels for my kitchen. Again, I love the color of it. I love the detailing of the pumpkins embroidered on top of this orange color. And I feel like it makes it look very fall and halloweenish so that way i'm still like celebrating that but it's not like black and white in your face scary type of towels either so i have a couple book videos on my channel i'm a huge book lover and i wanted to show you guys some of the books that i've recently picked up from the library that i feel like kind of embody the fall theme the first one i just finished reading and it's the fourth wing I would say it's fall theme because of the colors of the book, not necessarily because of the content of the book, but it is like, this is the first edition and it's so cool. It's got these painted edges with the dragons on them. And this story, you guys, it's so cute. I just loved it so much. And their second book is actually coming out in November of this year. So that's fall, right? It's fall. It's totally fall. So definitely some a book that I recommend is The Fourth Wing. I think it's super, super good. I also grabbed Lord of the Rings. I feel like this is such a staple fall book, but I think it kind of speaks for itself. So yeah, this one I feel like is definitely a fall book. It's The Handmaid's Tale. Now there is like a TV show about this. I haven't seen the TV show and I kind of know a little bit about the book, but I haven't started reading this yet. It is like a dystopian society, like a post-apocalyptic society. Um, that's all I know. I'm pretty sure this is based in like the forest as well. So that kind of gives the fall vibes. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm really excited to read it, so. Another book series that I feel like is totally a fall series is Harry Potter. I actually just finished reading Harry Potter, the whole series. So if you haven't read that, or if that's something that you're maybe thinking about reading for the fall time, or you're looking for a fall book, I would definitely recommend reading Harry Potter. You don't have to read the whole series if you don't want to. Read the first book. The first book's great. Last but not least, let's talk about music. I have a couple of music playlists that I have made for the fall time that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. You'll find them again linked down below. And I have them on Apple Music and Spotify. I have one that is just the fall vibes playlist. I feel like this one is more of a alternative indie kind of slower music, but it's totally, it's totally fall and it's totally like the fall vibes. Like I can't explain it, but it's just perfect for fall. I'm constantly trying to add new songs on there because new songs come out every year, obviously, but they definitely are themed for fall in my opinion. I feel like they sound like fall or they feel like fall or they talk about fall, 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 fall. So that is one that I feel like you can kind of listen to um, the whole season and it won't get old because there's always new stuff being added to it and the second playlist is my spooky season playlist this one's definitely for halloween i definitely feel like this is more of a halloween playlist none of it i would say is like scary like it's not scary music that's gonna scare you it's definitely definitely more fun and upbeat i feel like it has music from like a lot of fun little like halloween movies like like hocus pocus and the adams family and things like that it's gonna have some things from like the wednesday series as well in there so Lots of fun songs on that playlist. And I actually have been listening to that one a lot recently. I also have like some like Ghostbusters stuff on there. Like, you know, like your classic Halloween playlist. One that you could play when trick-or-treaters are coming over, when you're decorating your house for Halloween, or even when you have like a Halloween party. It's got some good bops is all I'm saying, so. And again, I have them on Apple Music and Spotify so you can add them wherever you listen to music. Okay, whew, I'm done. I know that that seems like it was a lot and it is a lot, but I just love fall so much. I'm definitely totally a basic white girl. Like, I'm not even going to try to deny it. That's what I am. 
But yeah, that's pretty much everything I picked up getting ready for fall. I'm super excited to start like wearing the clothes and, and lighting the candles and starting to decorate my house. I think it's gonna be super pretty. And I'm just really excited for fall, honestly. It's one of my favorite times of the year with the seasons changing. And I feel like it's just a good time to like reset and reflect on the past year and get ready for the upcoming season of winter, which brings Christmas and all that fun stuff. So I'm really excited and I'm just so grateful for all of you guys as well for making it this far in the video. If you have made it this far, make sure you guys comment down below what your favorite fall activity is. I'd love to get some inspiration for you guys as I start to create my fall bucket list. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I will see you all in my next one very soon. Bye.